also the uh, the old airbags for this thing are pretty pretty tired. Is this the one with the split in it? I'm not sure. Pretty beat up. One of these has a yeah, it's right in there. You can't see it because there's no air in it, but it's totally tearing apart right in there. So we're gonna try to find some nice. How's it going over there? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't remember. I just I don't know, man. This has always been a pain in the butt, but I think I've uh, made it a lot easier. It's just uh, one person's job now putting on these side belt tires. It used to be a epic, epic two-person job. But now, with the aid of this come along, I can just crank that up. Let's see if I can put the camera somewhere where I can see it. So here's where we stand, uh, August 2nd, I guess. What have we done? Uh, reinforced all of the uh, swing arms so they can't break off ever again. Found we had a couple bad airbags that are about to blow out, so we'll need to buy a couple more of those. Uh, side wheels bolted on, no problem. It's no big deal. Uh, the deck obviously needs to get put back together. Um, got some work to do to mount the speakers in the back. But the fun news is that we put a uh, smaller pulley on that to lower the motor RPMs to a little, little bit. sets of horses go. Yeah, right. That's about ten thousand dollars. <laughs> but that's why we got to stop working on it right now. You got the bees pretty pissed off. Yeah, we did. There's a whole bunch of them living in that underneath that plywood right there. Yeah. So I hosed them down and blocked all their doors. What you need to do is get the little spray out. Of here. <laughs> So did you get a positive call from your guy that's nope. working on the check? No. I got a, oh, let me go check with receiving, and I'll call you back, and they'll call back. And they haven't called And back. now they're not there anymore. 